today, um, I think the question of first-line therapy um, kind of sets the stage for subsequent therapies. I would say most of the time, most of us are using Fulfox plus Bevacizumab as first-line therapy, but the question is, should you be using an anti-EGFR antibody first line for left-sided tumors? And the 80405 data didn't really show superiority for that, but it may have the study may have been too small. The European data is a little bit more favorable and, and statistically significant that you should use anti-EGFR antibodies on the left side. So that's one situation where the practice in the U.S. and the practice of, in Europe is a little bit different. I would say at the moment um, I tend to still use um, bevacizumab first line and then save the anti-EGFR for later um, because we know it works as well in subsequent lines as in first line. Uh, there's no real particular benefit that we know of to giving it uh, first compared to bevacizumab, and that was pretty well demonstrated in the 80405 trial. Um, additionally, just when you're starting people with chemotherapy, they have to deal with all the skin toxicity thing. It's a little bit extra burden on the patient. So uh, personally, I prefer to save that for subsequent line therapies. Today, again, for first-line therapy of colon cancer, I think we're mostly using Fulfox or for the higher-risk patients like BRAF mutated patients, even Fulfoxiri. I've been using that more and more for younger patients, for patients I want to get to liver resection, for patients who have BRAF mutations, and I think in general it's tolerated pretty well. Um, certainly no worse than Fulfirinox for pancreatic cancer patients. Um, a lot of the Europeans tend to use full theory first. Some of our American colleagues also suggest we should use full theory first and, and not um, introduce the problem of neuropathy uh, in first-line therapy. So that's also an, another option. Uh, and there is really no major reason to give, um, not to give full theory first line. I think it's more, we've kind of set up our paradigms that way. And, and you know, perhaps the oxaliplatin can come back and be used later too. So I, I think there's some benefit to giving it first and then coming back after having had full theory for a while.